The ebb and flow of the real estate market has not stopped with the shelter-in-place order, and at the same time, the market is not immune to the changes happening all around us. We have many more insights now than we did at the beginning of April, and here are the big takeaways i found that are important for buyers, sellers, those waiting to see what's going to happen, and homeowners wondering about their home's value. If you have any questions at all, please text me, call me, or drop a comment below. For now, let's compare the first three weeks of April to the same time one year ago and see what we find. I've used single family homes for this analysis. This year, 5,074 homes came on the market. Last year, 7,540 came on. That's 33% fewer new listings than last year. And the same percent was the case when I looked at this two weeks ago. Consistency is really a good thing right here. So far this month, 3,498 houses are under contract. And last year, 5,071 homes went under contract. That's 31% fewer pending sales, or 1,573 homes. It's pretty close to the how many fewer new listings have come on the market as well. The pending to active ratio, which we use as a leading indicator, is 69% now and 74% last year. This is also good news, all things considered. There are certainly fewer pending sales, and there are also fewer new listings, with a difference of 1,576 more new than pending. There are also 1,401 withdrawn and expired listings so far. So we have the new listings, minus the pending sales, minus the off-market homes, leaving a net increase of 175 single-family homes, which is about an increase of 1%, not very much. It's hardly enough to affect the short or long-term supply of homes, and therefore should have no long-term negative effect on pricing. In other words, we're not really adding more homes than we can sell, and that should mean that when the market reopens completely, it doesn't look like we will have shifted into a buyer's market. Earlier this month, I recommended waiting a little longer to list if you were able to. Since then, we've had new listings receive as many as 15 showings and multiple offers in a weekend and other listings with little showing activity. So um, there are some trends developing. And my advice now is that we really need to look a little bit more deeply at the hyper-local level to find out whether it's a good time to list your home. For some, now is just fine to list, and for others, it might be a couple more weeks before you should list. That's an improvement in the recommendation from just a couple of weeks ago and positive for the coming months. For now, financing is still readily available, so it's a non-issue at the moment. As before, if things reopen, for the most part, in early May, the real estate market should be fine. If it's June before we see a full reopening, things could change. Thanks for watching, and stay healthy.